Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will learn about the facade design pattern. First, let's see what is a facade design pattern. A facade is categorized under structural design patterns. As per the Wikipedia, a facade is an object that serves as a front-facing interface masking more complex underlying code. That means facade pattern hides the complexities of the system and provides an interface to the client using which the client can access the system. Improve the readability and usability of a software library by masking interaction with more complex components behind a single API. Provide a complex specific interface to more generic functionality. Serve as a launching point for a broader refactor of monolithic or tightly coupled systems in favor of more loosely coupled code. What problems can the facade design pattern solve? To make a complex subsystem easier to use, a simple interface should be provided for a set of interfaces in the subsystem. The dependencies on a subsystem should be minimized. Clients that access a complex subsystem directly refer to many different objects having different interfaces, which makes it the client hard to implement, change, test, and reuse. What solution does the facade design pattern describe? Define a facade object that implements a simple interface in terms of the interfaces in the subsystem and may perform additionally functionality before or after forwarding a request. This enables to work through a facade object to minimize the dependencies on a subsystem. Now, I think the facade design pattern you understood theoretically. Now, let's implement. Here, you can see I'm using IntelliJ IDEA. Don't worry, the code which I'm going to write, you can find from the GitHub and I'll give you the link in the description. As you can see from the package, we already implemented some of the design patterns. So for that, also I created a videos and that is available on YouTube. So you can watch videos, links in the description. So here first, let's create a new package and package name, let's say the facade. Let's create a class and the class name, let's say facade design pattern. Add the main method, add some message. Let's run and see this message is printing or not. See, the message is printing, that means all setup is working properly. Now, let's start writing the code for the facade. As I said earlier, the facade pattern hides the complexities of the system and provides an interface to the client using which the client can access the system. So, let's implement this with the help of one simple example. Let's create a class and the class name, let's say computer. Create some more classes like CPU, memory and hard drive. Now let's add one simple method for CPU class and the method name, let's say start processing. Here, I'm not putting any complex logic, just adding a simple print message. But in real time scenario, this type of implementation will not be there. Instead of that, it should be a complex logic. But here, just to make it simple, let's add a simple message. Similarly, let's create one method for memory class. Here also add a simple message. Now let's add a simple method to the hard drive class. Here also add a simple message. Okay, for these three classes, basic implementation is done. As you can see, these three classes are computer related classes. So nobody is responsible for creating an object for these classes. Only computer class will be going to create the object. So basically from where object creation happens for all these three classes. Okay, so we will create the objects for these classes from the computer class default constructor. So first declare free reference variable for these three classes. And now from constructor, create objects for them. Okay, meaning of this code is like when the main method will create the computer class object, that time it will create the object for these three classes also. Now let's create a new method and the method name, let's say start booting. And from inside this start booting method, add some message and call the required method. So 
So the meaning of this code is like the end user will not bother about the CPU, memory and hard drive class. The end user will directly interact with the computer class and just call the start booting method and job done. Everything will be taken care by the computer class. That means it hides the complexity of the system and it provides an interface to the client or user using which user can access the system. As you can see here, interface is the computer class and the start booting method is the place from where the client can access the system. I hope you understood what I am trying to explain. Okay, so now let's create the computer class object inside the main method. From the computer, object calls the start booting method. Now let's run and see it is working or not as expected. See it is working properly and giving the expected output. I hope now you will not forget the facade design pattern. I committed this code to GitHub and here is the GitHub page. And here is the repository. And here is the code. I hope you like this video, then please like. And if you haven't subscribed till now, then please subscribe. That's it for this video, and thanks for watching.